I'm Robert Gould. I'm the director of the Graduate Program in Conflict Resolution at Portland State University. I'm going to talk about the notion of moral injury. This uh, particular term is being used to explain the fact that war veterans are not responding to uh, the treatment protocols that have been developed uh, for post-traumatic stress disorder. Civilians who have that, and again about one out of every um, 13 uh, people in the United States uh, will probably develop post-traumatic stress disorder at some point in their life. And three out of every 10 civilians or military personnel in a war zone will develop post-traumatic stress disorder. However, the treatment for people in war zones is not working according to this new theory. Uh, because they're, we're not able to understand uh, the whole, all the dimensions of, of their experience in warfare. Now the notion of moral injury is used to explain that experience which oftentimes is uh, spoken to by veterans as the inability to either restrict their activities on a moral level or to be able to respond to immoral activities that they witness. Uh, if they kill or injure somebody who is not a combatant, uh, be it accidentally or impulsively, or if they don't come to the aid of somebody who has been injured but is not a part of uh, the military operation. So if they neglect or if they do something that brings more harm onto innocent people, then it may make sense within the context of the war to be able to move on quickly uh, to another military target, but when they come home and reflect on that, they realize uh, what an immoral thing they have participated in. That combined with the other symptoms of, of PTSD uh, create a conundrum that's very difficult to unravel unless there's some way that this moral injury can be addressed. In conflict resolution, uh, we talk about forgiveness, reconciliation, self-forgiveness, dialogue, where people can begin to um, witness or express their regrets uh, for what they've done as a way to heal from that. In the Vietnam War, uh, there was these sorts of experiences and Vietnam vets have gone back to Vietnam and, and entered into reconciliation processes with uh, Vietnamese. This may need to happen also in the Middle East at some point in the future.